How do you feel the Tina Chamber is doing, just in general? I think they're doing very well. I think especially Larry does a wonderful job, uh, and all the people affiliated with it, they're doing the best to try to get the stores filled and rented and uh, to promote business in town and make it a nice place to shop. I think they're doing a very good job. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Dave, what else can they do? What can they do more of? I do know they have the promotion for the festivals and so forth, and that seems to bring a lot of people to the town and they enjoy it. Um, all in all, I, I, it's, I, I'd really have to think about it. I, I don't know. What's important to you about the work that the Chamber does? You know, you know, what does it do in the community that you, to your, that's important to you, that you're aware, that, you know, it touches, connects with you? Yeah. Okay, what I think, what they're trying so hard to accomplish, and it's fantastic, is there's so many big box stores today that the, the old mom and pop stores and the, and the nice quaint Main Street USA is slowly, as you know, disappearing. And I know they work hard to try to get the people to turn focus back to the street and support the people there. It's a difficult challenge, but I think they work very hard at it. And you see some businesses on Cedar Lane that are doing very well and some that are, are trying to do better. But I know they back them and they, they work hard to put, help them put their best foot forward. That's important to me too about you know keep the dollars local, and yeah right and it, and then it has a, a multiplying effect even when you literally keep the dollars local it doesn't go out to some box store like you said you know and I want to help the chamber more with that that concept as well because I get it and I know how important that is and I'm glad you mentioned that so I'm reiterating a little of this and how, so how, what else can we do maybe together to help the chamber to do an even better job keeping that so, so I'm helping you it's kind of that, that or earlier question but in a larger context now maybe well, yeah? I think it's good to try to keep the pressure on nothing makes me happier than when a customer calls me and they tell me let's say uh, they, I, I was recommended or they're getting two prices or three prices which I understand but they want to stay local they want to keep it in town number one it tells me I have a good opportunity that I may receive that job and I know they are trying to back the town where they live or where they have their business because they understand that the guy next door is going to come to their store. The guy from four doors down is going to come to their store. And we really do have to work together at that to try to be a community, to stay focused on each other so we all succeed. And it's a hard job to do, like you said. It is, it is. And that's why, I mean, um, and Larry, I, he's just like an energizer bunny. He just goes and goes and goes. He's always telling me different ideas he has, plans he has, things he wants to try. And I think it's wonderful because we do have to support each other. I mean, I, we've seen in the past years Hackensack go through some difficult times. And it's simply because they're not supporting each other. And I think we have a good feeling in Teaneck about that. And I, I, I think we will succeed. The small family businesses, as you mentioned, are being literally boxed out by the big box stores. Right. You know, so that larger context, you see the chamber here providing a service that's strengthening, uh, bridging that gap a little bit, don't you? I think, I think they're trying very hard to do so. And it's really just, even for some businesses, if they have to be forced to get into each other's face, <laughs> but then it's a good thing. And you realize, like for instance, I know I need a couple of uh, uh, batteries for my watches. We have some watches we want to get. Well, I know there's a jewelry store two doors from me. I mean, I don't care if he's twenty dollars and the other guy's twenty-two. He's two doors from me, so I'm going to go there. Uh, I mean, we really just have to to work together like that. And I did his sign. I mean, it, it, it's just give and take with each other. Give and take with each other, and that will make the streets survive and succeed. That's so important. I'm glad you, you gave us that example. And, th and that's it, isn't it? Yes, it is. It really is all about that. And uh, as I said, nothing makes me happier when <laughs> I see somebody's recommended from another store or another store third party fourth hand for me to do their sign. It gives me a feeling they enjoy the quality, they enjoy what I'm doing, and highly enough to recommend me. 
and then I will, you know, it just trickles down and goes on and on and on. And we try to help each other best we can. So we're really building community, would you say that? Now, yes, we are building a community. And it's, it's just, uh, it's, I, getting back to the chamber, I think they work very hard at it. Not an easy job to get everyone to pull together, corral us all together at times, because we're all so busy with our businesses and our lives and our uh, time after work, it's, it's difficult. But I think they're doing a pretty good job. Your business, where it's located, and you have a website or how people get, can get in touch, right? Yes, I'm a CUNIT sign company at 449 Cedar Lane. Uh, my entrance is in the rear municipal parking lot uh, of Ga uh, the Garrison Avenue parking lot. And we do have a website, CUNITSigns.com. And uh, one of our favorite customers is the New York Yankees. We do all the field painting for that, for the World Series playoffs, opening day, uh, anything they're in. So that's also a little fun, too. That's our... Our little 15 minutes of fame when we're doing something for the Yankees. Very nice. So I see that sign whenever I'm in the farmer's market, don't I? Yes, yes, that's right. You're in the farmer's market, you look across the street, you see uh, across the parking lot, you see my CUNIT sign company.